Good afternoon, ladies and gentlefish. How is everyone doing today? I'm here with a new playthrough for you. We shall be having a crack at Shank. And I also have its sequel lined up as well for when we're done here. So, without any sort of meaningful introduction, let's just jump straight into the story. We're we'll playing on a normal because I think the last thing you want me to do is rage and break things. Uh, so yeah, let's jump in. Now I've played a little bit of this just to get the feel and get the audio right. And so far I'm kind of enjoying it, so let's we'll see how it goes. I'll shut up for the, uh, for the cutscene. Okay, so Shank is a side scroll and beat em up type game. Um, it kind of reminds me an awful lot of the old uh, Final Fight series, so it's a lot like that. Hang on, I'll move back to get these guys on screen a bit more. And basically where you just go left to right and beat the crap out of everyone you encounter. Come here, there we go. Nope, oh, there's a guy. Oh god, missed him. So yeah, there's not really much to it. There we go. But you're kind of pretty beefy. And, I mean, first impressions, you can take quite a pounding. And you can dish it out as well, which is exactly what you want from these games. So yeah, I've um, I've played the old Final Fight series, and I played a bit of Cast Crashers. I I liked both of those, so I thought Shane is back. I'd have a go with these. Kills God, him. I'm getting two. We'll have my gratitude and a handsome payout. So the story is kind of, from what I've gathered so far, it's a bit sort of Tarantino-like, as kind of all shown through flashbacks. There is a prequel to this um, in the co-op mode. But since I don't have anyone to play with, let's see if we can get a stealth kill here. I thought that didn't work at all. Um, yeah, since, since it's a co-op mode and I don't really have anyone to play with at the moment, I think we may be giving that a miss for a while. Oh, come on, just die! There we go. Yeah, all the kind of quick time events are kind of shown using the oh Christ, are shown using the um I think this is the perfect time for a grenade. All the quick time events are kind of shown using the um buttons symbols, like what the button actually does rather than the buttons themselves. I'm using an Xbox controller, so it might actually be quite helpful if the buttons told me what I was doing. I'm gonna need that. I quite desperately need that. There's another one up here. Okay, so these things you can swing off of. Oh, I'm gonna kill both of those. So yeah, kind of useful if the quick time events were a bit more helpful, but they don't really come around that often. I just shoot a bird or something, wow. Okay. Oh god, all these big dudes. Come here! Okay, go. Deal, deal with that guy using a grenade. Get with the fence in a bit. Let's see if I can't grapple with him. Is he not dead yet? Jesus Christ! There we go. 
Yeah, the big dudes are a bit, a bit of a pain. But as long as we got a good supply of beer, we should be okay. See, I pressed the bloody knife button there. I don't know what the problem is. The guns are a bit awkward to aim with as well. How is he not dead here? You're kidding me. I, I couldn't even see what was going on there, if I'm honest. Right. It's okay. It's not put me too far back. The grenades are kind of a godsend. They're a bit... They're just a bit OP. But they can kind of help clear out a proper cluster of dudes. The problem is when you run out of grenades, you're kind of left on your own. Right, come here, big guy. Oh no, no you don't. See, they just keep coming as well, which is, which is annoying, because you're kind of under pressure to get rid of most of them. There we go. This big dude. As long as the big guy's out of the way, everything else is kind of manageable. Um, as long as the beer keeps flowing, we're doing good. I think I have infinite ammo, I'm not sure. Lots of grenades, that's going to be useful. They wouldn't give it to us unless they wanted us to use it. Okay, oh, cross. that's not how you do a wall run. Right. Jump and hold forward like I did. There we go. Because that's even, like, you know, possible under the laws of physics. Take that. Take another one. See, like I said with the, with the grenades, they're just OP, but sometimes they do really help you clear out a group of people. Kill him already, there we go. I mean, you're not exactly squishy in any way. But at the same time, if there's a group of people and they're hitting you, you can't really get your own moves in. Oh, get out of that way. No, I pointed you in the other direction. And then he just randomly starts firing in the air as well. There's another dude. Okay. Yep. Ow. Oh, Christ. Yeah, you, you can take a pounding. The only problem is when they keep pounding you. Come here. Right, where they oh, God. See, like, and then you start, like, shooting wildly in the air. God. Okay. And yeah, the grapples don't really work so well on the big dudes. Come here! Ho-ho! Oh. Shots to the head. There we go. Okay. I think I'm done with this level now. I think this is like next level action. And if I remember correctly, this is the first boss fight. Yeah, when I was doing um, some sound tests, I kind of, oh Christ, I kind of accidentally got up to um, this part of the game, which just kind of shows how fun it is. Now, you gotta do that, and then you gotta grapple him, and just kind of take his spinal cord out with the uh, with the chainsaw, which is a bit unrealistic, but I mean, you know, it's all good fun. Oh God. The problem is you kind of get stuck on him at times. There we go. And I should only take like three or four of these to get rid of him. Hmm. 
it's when he starts glowing that you know you you're gonna be able to strike. There we go. Have a spear while I'm here. Just, I don't know how a man could take a chainsaw to the back like three or four times. It just seems implausible to me. Ow. Christ. Where's he going? But yeah, if you grapple him and he and he's not kind of stunned, then he just throws you off. Well, I mean, for the first boss, he's not particularly difficult. And then we get a cool cutscene where he just loses his head. You know, he could take four chainsaws to the back, but his neck, you know, he'll just, he'll just lose his head straight away. You can take the train to... I know where it is. Try the meat district. I don't even know what a meat district is. That doesn't make any sense. 